Gotta stop hating this album because Frank Ocean isn't on it, bro. And because he didn't give y'all an Igor too, bro. Give us some time and take the album for what it actually is, and Chromacopia will resonate way better. In today's video, I will be discussing this album as well as the track list, rating the album out of 10, and yapping. With that being said, get some cranberry juice and some Cheerios, and let's get right into this video. Mama, I'm chasing a ghost. Do I Expectations kill enjoyment. Imagine putting so much creativity and emotion into an album just for y'all to complain that Frank Ocean did not magically reappear on the album even though he's been gone for like half a decade now. And, and, and y'all just like delusional at that point thinking he's just gonna reappear. And even though I, I know I kind of also was hoping that he would reappear and even hinting at a lot of stuff towards the possibility of a return from him. At the end of the day, you cannot let your expectations for an album drag the entire experience down for you. What we have here is Tyler Creator experimenting with his own style. There was no Slash song here. He broke the three year album cycle that he was doing. The attention span of y'all though is just so crazy to me. From a creator standpoint, pun intended, Tyler definitely hates the fact that a lot of the listeners nowadays will listen to a quarter of a song and completely just skip through the album, skim through it, call anything boring, even if it is creative, just cause they don't like the, the production style and they completely underappreciate any emotion shown it like it seems like y'all just don't want to listen to nothing unless it's like soulless and, and it's, it's kind of sad because there's so much raw emotion on this album and so much creativity and passion on here that a lot of people just don't like to see because they don't they it just makes them feel uncomfortable bro y'all need to get in touch with yourself bro get get it you need to call yourself on the phone and have a discussion with yourself and, and I honestly, I think it's crazy because I see you Kanye fans back there acting like, acting like Chromocopy is this, this trash album. But then you bump Vultures as if Kanye isn't watched and does not sound like a predator, bro. But that being said, let's get into this track list. There is, by the way, there is no Slash song on here. I don't know if I already mentioned that. But it's, it, it is kind of upsetting to see a really long tradition be broken. But he's definitely experimenting a lot with his style here. And with that being said... The single, St. Chroma, sounded great in my headphones, bro. I love Daniel Caesar. I think it sounded great. The next song here is Ra Ta Ta, and it has some pretty great flows, in my opinion. The overall excitement here was definitely there. A lot of passion in his voice. Noid was another single that sounded really good in my headphones. The second half was also incredible, and the way that he rides the instrumentals on that second half was really nice, and it gives a really old Tyler Creator feel. Or not really old, but like 2019 Igor style, almost. Darling Eye had incredible production, a perfect vibe in general, great vocal layering. The Tizo feature was also really well used. I, I think this is definitely one of the greatest on here. Hey Jane was also a very chill and a nice breather with a really interesting show of a situationship kind of thing, like two perspectives of it. Great storytelling here. Childish Gambino was on I Killed You. And I think that this definitely was a Childish Gambino type of song. I think it was very great to see Tyler and Childish Gambino finally get to work together on some music. We seen them on regular show a little while ago, but that wasn't like anything compared to this. Great feature list though so far. Judge Judy was a clever play on words. And I do think that this could have been pushed a little bit, a couple of tracks forward because we did just have that other comp song, which was Hey Jane, but Sticky is the next song we have here and it had a crazy feature list we had glow on here she had a great verse and then sexy red came out of nowhere and then lil wayne came out of nowhere how was how is lil wayne sexy red glow really and tyler critter all in the same song i mean it, it's definitely interesting i think they definitely did their thing though it's definitely a very fun song probably the most fun on the album take your mask off is oddly specific i kind of wonder who like it's about like, I don't know if it's about, like, Drake or somebody. I don't know who he's trying to, like, talk about in this song. But it's pretty good. It's a pretty good song. Tomorrow is another one of the greatest songs on this album. And I really enjoy the way that Tyler Creator puts problems into this album of, like, it's a very sentimental album almost. You know, it has a lot of problems with the feeling of running out of time while trying to battle it with a, uh, motivation. The debate against monogamy. There's many family issues in here, talking about his mother even getting old, or his relationship with his father, and how he gets compared to him a lot, even though he doesn't have him in his life. 
I think was definitely very emotional and that track actually made me cry. The first time that I listened to it, it was definitely a very beautiful song. Uh, we're gonna talk about that though. Thought I Was Dead was a very exciting song. That was also, it was kind of a little bit of a, a, a different song here, but it was definitely very exciting. Like Him is definitely the greatest song on this album, if not the greatest song of the year. It made me cry, bro. Like, it discusses how it feels not having a father in your life, but being compared to him so much from looks to mannerisms, and it's, it's definitely very emotional. It's, it's one of the most emotional tracks that we've gotten from Tyler, and the production on here was so grand and incredible, and it just, it was leaking of passion. And yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. And I think it's kind of funny because right after this beautiful cinematic masterpiece of a, a song, we have a massive change in pace with Balloon, bro. And this song is kind of funny. It, it, he was talking his crap out here. Dolce had an incredible verse on here. It was, def it was definitely a little bit out of pocket. It, it was a little bit out there, I ain't gonna lie. But it was still pretty good. Uh, Daniel Caesar was on here, which was pretty interesting. He had a pretty beautiful vocals on here. I also enjoyed the sample flip on here. And then they closed this album off with I Hope You Find Your Way Home. And I think that was a great and nice slow way to exit the album. And overall, bro, this album had great versatility while keeping the same style and production that people know and love from Tyler the Creator. And despite him changing a lot of stuff, I still feel like this was him growing his overall artistry. Like it's, it's definitely his style so out there and very unique and he's just growing the overall skills on it. Like nobody can make Tyler Creator music better than Tyler the Creator. And he's doing a great job at showing that. The best songs on here, I have my, my number three spot, I have Tomorrow. I think that song was incredible. It, it got pretty interesting. Darling I was a incredible groove track. I just really enjoyed it a lot. And the best song on here is obviously Like Him for me. I mean, I think What's the Buzz might have a different opinion, but that's because What's the Buzz makes horrible opinions on music. I'm sorry, uh, but I don't know if y'all watch What's the Buzz, but you know, man, that's just that's just me, I guess. But 9 out of 10. I give this album a 9 out of 10 overall rating. And I think that this is probably one of Tyler Creator's greatest works. However, bro, do not click off the video yet because next video or, or one of the next videos that I'm going to be releasing is going to be how does this album compare to the rest of his discography. If y'all want to know that, like I'm going to compare it to Igor, like where does this rank? I'm going to do an entire album or discography ranking on his albums. But with that being said, here's my socials if you guys want to check that out. I'm editing this video on a brand new phone. So if it, if it looks better, that's why. Uh, I love you all very much though. I'm conflicted. And I'm out. Peace. Also, thank you for the support recently. I really appreciate it.